the RCH-155 is a battlefield product of longtime German defense company KMW. The system is billed as an all-in-one solution, combining the firepower of the 155mm indirect fire field howitzer common to the German PZH-2000 self-propelled howitzer SPH, vehicle with the proven 8x8 wheeled framework of the Boxer Armored Fighting Vehicle AFV, detailed elsewhere on the military factory. The result is an effective, highly mobile ranged artillery solution with few, if any, contemporaries. The gun of choice is the 155mm L52 NATO JB MOU compatible series and this firing solution is mated to a fully enclosed, fully remote artillery gun module AGM. The module sits over the rear of the boxer chassis and has complete 360 degree traversal from center point while providing inherent Fully automatic electrical gun laying elevation, minus 2.5 to plus 65 degrees, to the gun system. The gun has a built-in fume extractor with slotted muzzle and arrives fully stabilized with a projectile autoloader. Effective engagement ranges are out to 54 km and the gun can engage, with equal lethality, both moving and stationary targets at range. All in-service NATO projectile types are currently, 2023 supported and some 30 ready-to-fire rounds are carried in the AGM. The system also handles ignition programming and modular charges through integrated ballistics calculation. Fire rate reaches 9 rounds per minute in sustained fire mode. The vehicle component features nuclear biological chemical NBC, protection for the crew of two as well as smoke grenade launchers to screen the vehicle's movements in the field. Cooling and heating are also provided for comfort, crew spaces, and systems integrity, in the AGM. Furthermore, a complete fire detection and suppression system is included. An optional remote weapon station, RWS, for anti-infantry measures is also offered. The vehicle is powered through an MTU diesel engine of 815, horsepower offering road speeds of 100 kmh out to a driving range of 700 kmh on roads. Future concepts to be added to the RCH-155 include complete autonomy in driving navigation, removing the in-the-field crew from the equation altogether. Coupled with autonomy in the firing process, the vehicle is set to become a true unmanned ground vehicle UGV, 